Hello guys and welcome to another Colonicraft video. Today is episode number three and what we are looking here at is a space for the Iron Golem farm, the mighty Iron Titan. And you are maybe wondering why is it underwater? Well, uh, it's simple because we, uh, with the other colonists, uh, had a little chat and we decided that we don't want anything up in the sky to. Oh, it's raining. I hate when it's raining. And we decided that we don't want any ugly huge structure in a sky but as you can see there is a marker for the spawn chunks and uh, yes yeah, so I decided that we are going to build it under the water and uh, actually the whole area uh, will be flooded after the Iron Titan will be built and uh, there's another thing that I need to do uh, because uh, here will be kind of like stripes where I need to place doors so yeah that's uh, another thing that I need to work on and yeah I, I don't want to uh, dry out all the area right here but we will have only like a few stripes there but yeah first of all there are two things that we need to do. Uh, of course, we need to build the platform for the Iron Titan. So I want to do it this episode. And oh, I missed that. And the second thing is that we need a lot of villagers. And let me see if there's any bed around here. Well, I think not. But uh, as you can see, we've got this little uh, iron farm, uh, but yeah, it's, it's too small. And we are going to use these villagers. I, spo I speak with the, uh, with the, well, I can't remember the name. Uh, it's shame, uh, uh, Beastie. Yeah, it's, it was built by Beastie. Uh, I think I, I don't want to lie but uh, yeah uh, so we are going to uh, take down the thing and we are going to use those villagers for the villager breeder and uh, there are two things that I need to make right first thing is uh, you are looking there uh, on the uh, on the guardian farm and I said it was made by voodoo and I was lying I was lying it was made by happy uh, so I will put the link to his channel down in the description and yeah so I want to make that right and the second thing that we made uh, that we need to make right is uh, in the nether and uh, yeah, we are going there uh, in a while, but I want to check how many people actually give us locks. Okay, 10 stacks happy and, oh, sorry, and 6 Azeldor. Uh, I'm going to uh, give them something, but uh, I think it it's not going to be in this episode because I won't uh, have time and I want to apologize for me not doing videos uh, I had ex exams and uh, yeah well basically oh that's sweet oh this is nice oh yeah this, this is very nice oh it's uh, Azeldor's shop, I think. Yes, it's Azeldor's. Uh, here will be BBST's shops. And uh, yeah, we are going to have shop right here. But in the future. And second thing that I need to do right 
is uh, here in the nether uh, and I need to grab some things and as you can see I oh this is nice too well this is very nice I love that I love the lava oh and I lo oh it looks scary when you are looking at it because it looks like there is nothing oh man I, I love this this is awesome I I don't even I don't even feel like the netherrack is is in a miss in it is not that bad because of the lava and the color play oh man this is this is very nice this is looking very nice uh this is by the way tiger's place and in the future we can go check it out uh she's she's a good very good builder and yeah th this is looking awesome the pattern right here i love that and as you can see i've done some signs for other people to actually know where's our uh, skeleton farm and yeah i need to grab some things and when it's done i will come back okay guys and the second thing that we need to do is oh that's loud that's super loud wait a minute uh, hostile creatures okay is over here uh, at the XP farm, X zombie XP farm, it was made by Azeldor and uh, it's kind of the first XP farm on the server and I've been taking a lapis from this chest, I don't know who this chest belongs to uh, but I've been taking a lapis from here and I took like a half a stack or maybe a stack so I want to like give them uh, lapis in return so thank you for borrowing whoever chess is this and yeah right now uh, we can actually start working on the um, on the villager breeder and uh, we are going to use uh, unrabbits design for that and for that we are going to need lots of carrots and potatoes and wheat so I've been asking a lot uh, at our skeleton farm so I've got a lot of bones so we are going to build uh, the a uh, kind of uh, super fast FK um, carrot farm uh, for breeding the villagers and we are going to use carrots of course well what I want to do yeah I want to do I want to go back here and we are going to use the super fast carrot farm and it was made by impulse uh, I'm not sure but I think it was made by impulse so yeah we are going to use that and uh, meanwhile I am going to build the uh, iron titan and I don't want to go through the process of building it because you've got a tutorial uh, out there uh, by TangoTech and of course uh, I will try to remember put the link down in the description yeah well uh, there, there's nothing uh, you can see slimes down there and I thought it would be good idea to build a slime farm right here and uh, I'm not quite sure about it yet uh, because I want to have like here the um, the iron farm and actually the collection area and the storage system down underground because uh, you need to kind of drop the golems down for the villagers actually spawn another and I, I'm not quite sure about it yet how I want to do but yeah I definitely want to build a slime farm and I am um, I actually didn't check oh well there's a lot of slimes right here and I want to kill them and I didn't check any kind of third party uh, app for fighting the slime chunks and I'm going to because I want to kind of find the quad slime chunk you know just because I can so uh, we will see if uh, there is one 
but uh, I, I'm not sure about this a, uh, idea you know uh, I want to keep this clean and I'm not sure how the slime farm would fit here but definitely we are going to build a slime farm in some point and yeah so now I need to bring some more resources for the spawner or breeder and for the farm and I need to start working on that so yeah let me quickly prepare myself and once it's done uh, I will be back soon okay guys so right now I am standing right here on the platform for the villager breeder and as you can see I took down a bit of the old iron golem farm and now we need to get one of those villagers right uh, right here in this kind of holding cell and um, I'm actually thinking about taking them from the from from the ceiling yeah um, because uh, what uh, I need to do next is to get rest of the villagers right into that platform of course there will be something else but uh, let me just quickly pull her up right here and uh, I need to position myself into center so this could be a center of it so if I take down this and I can go like that well um, I need to place a sign right right down and I'm not sure how to do that well um, well my idea is to kind of bring those villagers a little bit up and then bring them over there uh, but I need to place a sign down there and I, I don't know how to do that because there's so many oh well let me just no I want to do that no 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 that was a bad idea that was very bad idea give me that water that water I want that water oh my god no 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 this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, sorry, 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 you are drowning, oh my god, this is bad, oh, okay, so that, that was bad, and now I can, maybe I can put the sign, yeah, there's the sign, okay, so, right now, what I need to do is to get myself out of out of this and yeah well good and oh hello guys you can go back go back and I need to get those virtues back in there no don't go down Come here, okay, good. So, yeah, uh, I need to figure it out. And oh, hello, hello, go back. No, okay, not. And uh, yeah, I will be back uh, when I have the tunnel done, and then we can try to get those villagers into our breeder. Okay, guys, so I've got the village breeder ready to kick in and uh, 
this is the design made by Unrabbit and as you can see I uh, put the one villager down there and now uh, we have the breeder in a loop mode so it means that uh, we are going to uh, kind of collect a lot of villagers in this area because we need good rates for that and I've got here some villagers so yeah now we can kind of bring them in so I will quickly pop in here and um, hey man what are you doing there well, I need to block this and push them forward so go guys come on go 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 and we need to get them into the breeder so it will be a slow process but I think we can handle that and we need to get this guy back into that stream I need to have some blocks in my hotbar so yeah that's great oh no 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 don't sorry okay he's dead so that's one problem solved and we need to get the rest into the breeder so let's push them and yeah that's it okay they are in the breeder and now we need to feed them and to feed them uh, we are going to use carrots and I actually do not have that much carrots but I've got um, stuff for for the AFK or the micro farm so we are going to build the temporary micro farm uh, right here and I need to quickly just grab some oh well I, I think I've got all I need so yeah uh, we can build the micro farm right here and um, yeah I've put one villager here it's a, he's a farmer and we are going to use him for our future project so that's great and let's touch this place up little bit okay so that's done and now we need to build the micro farm and the design is made by well it's by impulse I think so it's pretty straightforward uh, just place just place dispensers like that and I need to take some dirt right here and now what I want to do is to yeah well I need to take this block and put the water right here sorry touches and uh, now uh, I can wire this thing yeah that's right like that so I will just take some redstone and and I need to go like that and now I can wire up this thing and we are going to use a simple simple super fast clock so it's like that and like no torch I don't want to touch that I want this and you can see super fast clock and now uh, I need a slab right here and I need more slabs so let me just quickly craft some and I think this will do okay so now we've got 
super fast um, micro farm and it's actually using the light update so it's super awesome and super easy uh, so now I need to craft a hoe and uh, yeah I've got carrots but I don't have bone meal uh, I've got a bone meal over there uh, at the iron farm and yeah so I will just quickly uh, craft uh, some hoe and I will bring a bone meal and put it into those dispensers and then we can actually move on to start building the iron titan and I don't want to do anything uh, fancy uh, in this episode I just want to kind of lay down the basics or, or the, the fundamentals of the iron farm and of course we need to tear this thing down and this uh, well I think no this can no this can't go uh, because with this tunnel we are going to uh, bringing our villagers into the iron farm so this thing actually needs to stay for a while so yeah uh, I will just quickly grab some bone meal and I will uh, kind of harvest a few um, few of those carrots and I will breed our villagers and then we can move on okay so I prepared the platform for the Iron Titan and this is the west side or north side and I'm following the tutorial completely uh, but I'm using half slabs because they are cheaper and as you can see it's quite uh, quite close to the floor and I cleared the floor of course and the reason why is that uh, I have a limited space um, in the ceiling and actually the whole collection area will be down somewhere down below we are at level 30 so the collection area will be under uh, under the iron farm and uh, what I need to do next is to complete this spawning or the villager holding uh, door system if you understand me, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, so the, I need to finish this area, and the next thing that I need to do is to make stripes in this direction, because we need to uh, chain the villages, and I don't want to dry out the area there, but uh, I need to have uh, those stripes in the water, and I oh well hello slime ball and I want to or I need to uh, kind of make them uh, live available <laughs> kind of because I need to uh, go back and forth uh, many times so yeah I need to kind of figure out the way how I will be placing that and of course I need to get few villagers over there and a lot of villagers in this area uh, and I think I will do it by tubes kind of tubes uh, from uh, from the bottom of the, uh, from the top of the ocean so yeah that's that's a lot of work that I need to do but uh, yeah this farm is definitely worth it and uh, uh, I'm looking forward to kind of finish this so yeah uh, I will continue on this and I want to finish uh, the whole area for doors oh hello Mr. Slime um, there is li like a huge slime chunk somewhere and I, I'm not sure wh where uh, so yeah uh, in this episode I want to finish uh, the area for uh, for the farm included those stripes in the water and in the next episode I would like to uh, complete the farm but I'm not sure if I can do that uh, well 
I need to calculate a few things, like if I have enough wood. Well, you know, uh, you know, a lot of work to do, and I'm just talking, talking, and talking. So I will get to work and see you when, well, where there's next progress. Okay, guys, so I've done the platform for our iron golem farm. And by the way, I've been collecting those slimes and I've got pretty, uh, lots of slime balls. Well, uh, I want to talk about this a little bit because I'm running out of time for this episode. And yes, yeah, so I've, uh, I've done the platforms for doors and for everything. Here are the villagers holding cell. And I, I'm going to build the 32 uh, ver village version. And right here, I've done those stripes for the doors. So you can see it's all been done. And over here is like holding cell for another villagers. And yeah, so this is pretty much it. And. Uh, this will be it for today's episode. Uh, in the next episode, I want to kind of finish this and uh, start working on something else. And I would like to finish it completely or well, uh, I will finish the farm, but uh, the uh, collection area and the storage system, uh, I um, we are going to do in our next episode. Uh, after this so yeah that's the plan and i need to do some afking at our village breeder so yeah that's that's it for today's episode and by the way uh someone been helping me drying this area out and i don't know who who it is and who've done that who's done that but thank you very much for your help it helped me a lot and uh, yeah hopefully this farm will be working correctly so we can have a tons of iron so yeah uh, this is it for today's episode if you like the video please leave a like or leave a comment and yeah thanks for watching and see you next time